Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Luke Branquino Show. All right, my guest now, we're going to have Matthew Reese. Matthew is a good friend, an actor, but most of all is known for his tour guide skills. I had some great conversation and a great horseback ride with Matthew when we first met in the hills of LA. Matthew, I don't know if you remember that. I want to know how a Welshman knows so much about the Hollywood Hills. As a Welshman, there's not that many of us. There's only about three million people. And so I've been living in uh, Los Angeles for a long time and I've been visiting Griffith Park in LA. For some time I wondered, I said, why does Griffith Park have a Welsh name like Griffith, who was Griffith? And I said about researching him. And the story that unfolded as I bored you with it of a three hour horse ride through the Hollywood Hill was that this man from Wales back in kind of 1875 came to LA. I mean, the short version is like the film, There Will Be Blood meets Citizen Kane. He kind of, through his own force of will, shaped Los Angeles, created such a terrible crime that LA went out of its way to eradicate him from the history books. For about 12 years now, I've been trying to get his story made into a, a limited television series without much success. But if you hire me to do something, like if I could be an extra, maybe you would have some more success. In fact, I've got the part for you. There was an assassination attempt on him by a man called Thomas Burkett, who rode up to him on a galloping horse, fired two cartridges from a shotgun into Griffith's chest, and then took out his own pistol and shot himself in the head. I think you'd be perfect as Burkett. If anyone can shoot himself in the head, fall off a horse, it's you, Burkett. You know? <laughs> Well, going back to your tour guide service, when we went to New York, Matthew, you took a picture of Lindsay and I and the Statue of Liberty in our background. That was a great night. You took us to the bar. What was the bar you took us to? There's a very specific area in Brooklyn called Red Hook. The last kind of longshoreman's bar, it's called Sunny's. Now it's become a bit of a mecca for people who are trying to find the last dive bar. So I was like, ah, they've become aware of who they are. Now they're selling t-shirts to idiots like me. <laughs> One of the great things I do like walking around with you because you have such an impressive cowboy hat, it disarms people in a lot of ways and it opens up conversation immediately. They go, where are you from? Are you a real cowboy? And then they're even more blown away when you go, yes, I am a real cowboy. And then usually people like me interject going, and he's a world champion. Go, Shut up. <laughs> What about the time, and I think you were on this helicopter. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> you guys land in the pasture, we go to the rodeo, and then like, nope, can't fly home, this thing would wreck. It could have happened at any time. That was even more terrifying. And it's kind of things I thought I'd never say. We had a mutual friend dating a helicopter pilot. What was more funny is just, he just bought the helicopter off ABC News right. couldn't take off, and then he kind of opens it up with, oof, this thing could have crashed any second. And we were like, what? <laughs> You're like, can we borrow a truck? And you're like, yeah, sure. The crazy part was, you guys land, we go to the rodeo, come back. He takes, I think, my mom and Jameson, or one of the boys, for a tour. Then when he lands, he's like, we need to drive home. I need to go get some parts. Yeah, yeah, like a few blades. <laughs> yeah. How is the family? Um, what a lot of people don't know, Carrie Russell, now part of your family. They're all good, they're all great. You know, you know. as you were saying that, I was like, oh, I've just become the actor cliche. Never date your leading lady, et cetera, et cetera. And then, you know, we met and I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm not going home to the UK. I guess, I guess I'm <laughs> setting up shop in New York. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I used to watch Felicity when I was in college and I had kind of a crush on her, so. Luke Branquino, World Champion Steer Wrestler, I used to watch Felicity. And I love that a girl that I had a television crush on, obviously, is with a very good friend of mine. In our time of knowing each other, well, we've seen each other, what, 10 times in person? We can pick up right where we left off from the last time. And to me, that is the sign of a true person that you could relate with and be a friend with. And that's why I consider you that. And also, very similar humor that we have each other, which is usually in insulting each other. It's like <laughs> push button. It's always immediate. I'm always very happy to see you. You're going back and forth to New York on the weekends to see the family, which is crazy life. So it's like you're rodeoing. You're not even in your own bed most of the time. I like to think of myself as a rodeo cowboy in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> Least of all, because I'm on the road a lot. Stay out of the beer stand. All right, well, best of luck to you. Thank you, Matthew, and we'll be talking to you. Thanks, dude. Take care. I'll see you soon. You bet.